I'm Dan Lightfoot, business manager at Syngenta, and uh, I've just popped in here to see Matt at uh, Goring and Streetly Golf Club. And uh, Matt was just asking me about Primo, so we've come out to one of the greens. What green is this, Matt? This is a 15th. Right, okay. So uh, Matt's just uh, just taken over here as course manager, so, you know, brilliant opportunity to uh, to show your skills, I guess. And uh, just can you tell me a little bit about the green, Matt, about its construction or sort of like, you know, what it, what, how it performs? Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're an old course, so we're 1895 golf course um, on, da well, predominantly downland, half part land. This is part of the downland sort of side, but this is this particular green's over a lot of heavy clay. Right. So uh, performance-wise, perform well. I mean, we get decent surfaces six, seven months of the year. A little bit of problems with water retention through the through the winter months, um, but overall, yeah, no, they perform well. And. You've just taken over and you, and you spoke to me and you said we'll just might have maybe have a look at kind of Primo and kind of whether that can be added into the programme to, uh, to to give you some to give you some benefits that maybe it, you, maybe you haven't been able to see in the past. So what kind what aspects of, of looking at Primo did you want to kind of know and understand? We've been doing a lot of reading on Primo, and I really do think there's a, there's certainly a good scope to use it as a benefit on our greens. I mean, I'm looking at trying to improve improve the density. Right consistently for a longer period uh, rather than the peaks and troughs of one week they're a little bit on the browner side then they're hot I just want a consistent decent green all, all year that, that, that will retain pace for a lot longer as well because our, our members are quite driven by pace of greens here are they without, without yeah it's always a bit of a yet. question in green keeping about, about pace and I think it's you want them nice and consistent all, all, all year round I think the pre Putting some Primo into the program will definitely, definitely help that. It will help with the density, help get the rooting down, and maybe it actually might help with the, you know, consistency of, of moisture in terms of how the plant takes it up. And uh, definitely from a from a pace point of view, it will, it will help give that more that consistency over the whole year and from green to green. Um, Would you recommend sort of fortnightly program then as opposed to monthly? I, I we did some research recently which basically said that you know if you put it down monthly then it works really really well but if you can put the same amount down twice fortnightly it would work a, a lot better in terms of consistency and performance yeah, yeah. and then and, and and again if you could put it down weekly um, then even better again however I think there's always a balance between practicality and re, you know and, and reality yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think nicely um, a kind of fortnightly um, fertilizer soluble or, or you know liquid program that a lot of clubs use these days it kind of fits in really nicely in that fortnightly maintenance people are spraying every every 10 to 14 days so if you can fit the primo in i think yeah, it will yeah. be it will I mean, be that, that's probably it will be ideal for us because we 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 already run a well we will be running a fortnightly a feeding program anyway uh, and i mean i'm just more interested in what what you would recommend sort of product to use to enable to sort of maximize a primo yeah, I think it depends on your strategy and your soil type and and w what you want to do. But um, yeah, Primo with a, a you know I think a little bit of iron and a, and a light uh, not bit of nitrogen that just get, generally keeps the grass growing. That's going to last that kind of 12, 10 to fourteen day period that you want. The nitrogen source probably depends on temperature and yeah, you yeah, can yeah. kind of move that through the season. But uh, no, a little bit of nutrition, a little bit of iron probably for some colour just because well you know would would really help. I, I think. You know, one of the keys with Primos, really building it into your nutrition, so it's a real partner for it. And then if you can do that, I think it will just mean that you're going to get that consistency of surface. So every couple of weeks, you're putting it down with your nutrition, and it's relatively regular. And then, you know, yeah, the yeah, performance yeah. just comes from that naturally. That, that, that's what I'm after. I must admit, a good, a good six months, good performing, good colour, good uniform, good trueness, good pace, a good consistent green. The customer comes here any day in the next six months, and they're going to be yeah, your greens. They look they look nice. I mean, we know what it's all about. No, People absolutely. There and they they just I want a bit more density, a bit more rooting, and that's exactly why I'm going to yeah, is it, well, go all out and try the product. Yeah. No, I can't wait to come back in a couple <laughs> in a couple of you know couple of months and see yeah, how, yeah, see how yeah, you yeah, got no, on. Yeah, I'm very excited to try. It, I must admit, it's it's uh, it's it's. I, I don't think we'll look back once we've gone down that road.